In this video, we are going to look at the second source of thermal energy for roasting. And in this case, we are going to start, um, look at combustion of fuel. So with combustion of fuel, the oil concentrate is mixed with a solid fuel. And the solid fuels contain mainly, so for the solid fuels, right, it contains two elements, which is mainly carbon and what? Hydrogen. That is the solid fuel. And the fuel is characterized by caloric, caloric value. And um, the gross caloric value unit, that is the gross calorific value, which is C, gene CV. The unit is kilocalorie per kilogram. So in that case, when they give you some heat, um, the chemical reaction, which in this case is fuel reaction of carbon dioxide to get carbon dioxide, that's carbon reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. And now uh, we have um, this reacting with oxygen gas to give you carbon dioxide, right? In this case, we are supposed to know that, um, find the calorific value of this reaction. So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the calorific value of this reaction. And with this, we're going to study the gross, the gross calorific value, right? So now there's a formula for finding the gross calorific value and finding the gross calorific value. We have gene CV is equal to 81 times the percentage of carbon plus 341 bracket open percentage of hydrogen minus percentage of oxygen all over eight plus 22 percent of what so far so in this case when a question is given to you for you to find the calorific value they are going to give you the percentage of carbon the percentage of hydrogen the percentage of oxygen the percentage of sulfur if in a question you don't have these percentages it becomes zero so let's take a practical example let's take one example from this question now please listen to the question very well we are supposed to calculate the calorific value for a cool for a cool so the cool composition for a cool and with the following analysis the coal contains 74 percent of carbon it contains 6% of hydrogen. It contains 1% um, of nitrogen. It contains 9% of oxygen. And it also contains 0.8% of food. So far. And 22% of what? Moisture. So we are supposed to calculate for what? The, calorific, the gross calorific value. So here, what you just need to do is just some substitution. Now, we established that the gross calorific value is equal to 81% of what the carbon plus 341 bracket open percentage of hydrogen minus what the percentage of oxygen divided by 22% of what so far so what did you do is that we don't we have the solution to be 81 times the percentage of what carbon is 74 you close this bracket plus 341 the percentage of what Hydrogen here is six, so six minus the percentage of what oxygen is nine over eight, then plus twenty-two times the percentage of what sulfur, which is zero point eight. So when you do that correctly, you're going to have our gross calorific value with seven six seven three point nine seven kilocalorie kilocalorie per kilogram. So it's very simple. You don't need to change this to zero point seven four. You just do straight substitution 81 times the percentage of carbon plus 341 bracket open percentage of hydrogen 6 minus the percentage of oxygen all over 8 plus 22 times percentage of what sulfur now if they give it to us i told you we have nitrogen here we have um moisture here but that one is not part of refining the gross calorific value so we are not going to add it to it let's solve for another one let's try another second example another second example let's find let's calculate the gross calorific value for a cool sample so a cool sample and in this cool sample we have the following c is 78 percent h is eight percent o is four percent s is also four percent 
we have our n to be two percent and ash to be four percent so we're finding the gross calorific value you know our gross calorific value is equal to 81 times the percentage of carbon plus 341 bracket open percentage of hydrogen minus a percentage of oxygen over 8 plus 22 percent of sulfur so then we do some substitution so we have 81 times 78 then we close the bracket plus 341 bracket open we have ox uh, hydrogen to be 2 minus oxygen 4 over 8 plus 22 times 4 then in that case at the end our calorific value will be given to us as 8945.9 kilocalorie per kilogram so that's how we find the calorific value the gross calorific value please the calorific value is different from the gross calorific value so we find it a gross calorific value this is it thank you very much for watching this video